Now's my chance. Ghosts aren't real. Only gullible people believe that kind of crap. Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is a 2024 fantasy comedy horror directed by Tim Burton. Of course, this is the sequel to Beetlejuice from 1988. For a film that first came out nearly 40 dang years ago, I believe this sequel does it justice. Is it perfect? Well, was the first Beetlejuice perfect? Of course it was. I know I'm biased here. I absolutely love Beetlejuice. I'm in love with Beetlejuice and I just absolutely adore that film. I'm going to make this as spoiler free as much as possible, so I'm just going to give you the gist of it. I will say that I'm happy that most of the cast reprised their roles and I'll explain why a few actors probably did not return. Now if you have no idea what Beetlejuice is about, for the love of God, go watch it and come right back here. Now in the 80s film, Beetlejuice starred Michael Keaton, Alec Baldwin, Gina Davis, Catherine O'Hara, Jeffrey Jones, and Winona Ryder. Adam and Barbara die in a freak accident and they're pretty much trapped in purgatory in their home. They are basically ghosts now and this family moves in. So Adam and Barbara ask for the help of Beetlejuice. Now Beetlejuice is not really this good of a guy. As a matter of fact, as Lydia describes him in Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, he is a trickster demon. So yeah, he had a few things up his sleeve. And hilarity ensues. Now, I, what I loved about Beetlejuice is that it's very creepy. It does have some really dark parts, which I, at least to me, some scenes were unsettling. Even though we're talking about death and ghosts and things like that, there is, even in the world of the dead, there's still a lot of beautiful cinematography. A lot of pastels, a lot of purples, and even though, again, we're talking about people who are probably mangled in a terrible way and that's the way they are living their life or their afterlife. If I knew then what I know now, I wouldn't have had my little accident. It's still really whimsical in a way, and it's still a lot of fun. With great music, great dance scenes, it is a somewhat of a musical, I guess you could say, but I'm not going to say that. But there are some scenes, some iconic scenes in Beetlejuice. Alright, so let's talk about Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I finally saw it at the theater last weekend, and I had a great time. Now, not every actor is reprising their role, but I'll give a reason as to why. But most of the cast does come back. Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice, Winona Ryder as Lydia Dietz, Catherine O'Hara as Delia Dietz, Lydia's stepmom, and some newbies as well. We got Danny DeVito making a little bit of a cameo as a janitor. Monica Bellucci, I believe I'm pronouncing her name right. This is Dolores. Now this is Beetlejuice's ex-wife. William Defoe as Wolf Jackson and Jenna Ortega as Astra Dietz, Lydia's daughter. So the reason that Alf Baldwin and Gina Davis most likely did not come back as Adam and Barbara is because, well, they're ghosts. And after four decades, almost, people tend to age, even actors. Alec Baldwin's legal stuff, so maybe it was easier to say, you know, let's just say they kind of just crossed over. Now, there's another character that did come back, but not the actor. Let me explain. Jeffrey Jones played Charles Dietz, Lydia's father in Beetlejuice. The character himself was a good guy. He just wanted to sit back, relax, and watch birds. He was a simple man. However, the actor, Jeffrey Jones, um, he liked little boys. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. So I understand why they did not bring back this actor. Charles, again, a good character, a good guy character. He was in a plane crash. He was eaten by a shark. So in this film, we do get a claymation version of Charles. And then we get the live action version. You see a decapitated man, basically with a large chunk taken out of his torso. No head, nothing like that. So they still had a way to keep this character without having to bring back the actual actor. We see Lydia Dietz. She is all grown up now. And I thought, oh Lord, is she gonna be a podcaster or something like that? Uh, no, they do some of the night vision stuff in the beginning because she is a talk show host which I didn't think there could be much worse than a podcaster doing ghost hunting stuff, but we have a talk show host. The fact that Lydia became that type of person makes me feel like, would she have though? Would Lydia have done that from Beetlejuice? But she can still see ghosts, so she's a woman on the edge right now because can you imagine, that would be pretty terrible. And her boyfriend is kind of using her ghost visions to, to use her so he can make his own TV show make money. Now Lydia's daughter, Astrid, of course her name is Astrid. So this is Astrid. Astrid. Played by Jenna Ortega. She is not really having the best relationship with her. Astrid is made fun of at school because her mom's a ghost hunter. When the family gets together after Lydia's father passes away, they try to mend that bond. Now, we also have another story coming up. 
Another story in this whole film, which kind of comes up every so often, Beetlejuice's ex-wife, who is basically a succubus. She sucks the souls out of even the dead people. It's kind of funny. In the beginning, I think Dane DeVito is basically just morphing into Frank Reynolds from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia anyway. I just see Frank Reynolds when I see Dane DeVito. Well, I don't know how many years on this earth I got left. I'm going to get real weird with it. He is dead and he is a janitor and he is drinking Drano. Now, if I were dead and I still had to work, I probably would do the same thing. So good for him. He finally, he's gone from that existence when she finds him. There's still a lightheartedness, even though it's kind of a dark comedy. And I don't want to give too much away. There are things that I kind of wish were different, even though I do love this movie. You have to imagine this has been a while since the first one came out. They took their time. I believe they did it well. Could it have been better? Yes, it could have been. Oh, oh, I know that you're asking me. It's gonna be scary. But it's still a fun watch. They do have a musical number at the end there, which was funny, but I do wish, I do wish it were a different song. MacArthur Park, that song about baking a cake, left it out in the rain. Don't ever have that recipe again. Oh, no. Oh, that just kept going, huh? So I like the movie. It could have been better when it got to this little love story with Astrid and this boy she finds in the treehouse. It worked for the movie in the long run, but I was not interested in that at all. I do wish there was more of a story between Lydia and her daughter. I wish we had that relationship built up a little bit more. And I really liked the bride. I thought she was an awesome character. But honestly, she was gone out of the movie for so long, I forgot she was in it, but that's okay. You know, I enjoyed it. I had a fun time. I'll watch it again. I I have to say, and I don't like to admit this, not that crying or, or tearing up or becoming emotional is weak. I don't believe that. But I'm in the theater. I'm watching it. I'm by myself, by the way. There were a few other people in the theater and it has the music from the original movie. I'm like tearing up because it reminds me when I was a kid. And you get that... And I hate using that word because it's used so often nowadays, but I'm getting that nostalgia feeling. Who here likes nostalgia? It made me tear up because it reminded me of how much I loved this movie as a kid and it brought back a lot of great memories. It's a fun movie. It's not perfect. So happy I saw <laughs> William Defoe when his name came up on screen. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot he's in this. I love William Defoe. I loved him. I thought he was great. I do kind of wish some things were different, but you know what? It's a sequel to Beetlejuice, a movie that came out in 1988. I'm going to be happy that it exists. I had fun. I'm glad I saw it. And if you want a kind of a lighthearted, dark comedy, horror, sci-fi fantasy, watch Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I say watch it on the big screen just because it's more fun. But you can definitely wait till you can stream it or rent it or whatever at home. I do want to say something really quick. Lydia mentioned her mom is still alive in this film, but it's, she's never brought up again after that. I wonder if this is going to become a sequel or if they're going to add more onto this. I do say I am kind of glad to see more interactions between Lydia and Beetlejuice because it reminded me of the Saturday morning cartoon, which was such an odd thing to, to bring out because in the movie, Lydia was really young and Beetle just wanted to marry her. So when they had their own TV, cartoon TV show, I'm like, I like them being friends, even though I know their relationship was wrong. And that was not like that in the movie. She did not want to be with him, but they're friends in this cartoon. I'm glad I saw it. It's not perfect, but it is still pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I love Beetlejuice, so I'm just happy. Are you going to watch Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice yourself? What did you think of it if you did see it? And, uh, you know, just let me know your thoughts in the comments. Again, fun movie. Fun movie. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye. Let's go, honey. Bob, hold down the fort. <laughs>